But still to come here at 5 on Eyewitness News. A teenage burn victim from California travels to Baltimore in her quest for healing. I'm Amy Yancey. Her brave story straight ahead on WJZ. A California teen suffers devastating injuries during her junior year of high school. Amy Yancey reports her determination to get better is what led her right here to Baltimore. At 17, girls pick out prom dresses and fill out college applications. That's not what 17 is like for Nicolette Lewis. Just sitting on the sidelines and watching everyone else do all the things that I wish I could do, but I couldn't. Last summer, Lewis, her twin sister, and two best friends were roasting marshmallows when a canister burst into flames, burning more than 25% of her body, including her face, neck, and chest. First I screamed, and I can remember that, and then I said, thought, in my mind, this can't be happening to me. Two months in the hospital, then the California teen went to the Angel Faces Retreat for girls with facial burns. There she learned about Baltimore doctor Leanne Price. A leech actually has the ability to adhere to congested tissue. The reconstructive surgeon uses medicinal leech therapy and a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Lewis flies cross country for treatment at MedStar Good Samaritan Hospital. So I think each time you do a surgery and you take away or you erase the physical scar, it allows emotional healing. Nicholas that spends two hours twice a day inside that chamber. She says it's not intimidating and she's willing to try any treatment that works. Burns are cruel. They're just really cruel. And that's the thing that it's hard, it's hard for us to find words for. There's one word that's not in Nicolette's vocabulary, victim. She and the three girls who saw the accident started Kids Healing Kids, a burn victim support group. Well, I'm looking forward to college and med school. And I'm looking forward to just being happier. Amy Yancey, WJZ Eyewitness News. Amy, thank you. Nicolette says Dr. Price has also made such an impact on her life. She wants to be a reconstructive surgeon so she can help children someday in similar situations. Isn't wow. that amazing? That's remarkable. Well, still to come tonight.